Well, I just uh, got the so-called luggage racks installed. Built and installed, fabricated, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's coming out good. I just thought I'd do a little update. Uh, it's been raining almost all week, so I had big delays on production here. But, anyways, everything's uh, done up, and I can shake the whole trailer with this. The only uh, reason I put those on there is if I ever, you know, if we travel with some bicycles or some big coolers and whatnot and get a bigger load than expected, I can tie the stuff down to the top. Anyways, that's about it for now. I'm going to have to shim, shim this hinge. The top cover on the front half is is laying crooked it's off center so I'm gonna shim that hinge to pull it over I also put a four inch wide piece of steel over the center where this hinge is here to uh, you know, keep the critters out and whatnot and yeah I don't think it'll stop any rain or anything like that but hey what the heck uh, it just covers the gap between the two pieces of two pieces of plywood here so um, Keeps honest people honest. I don't know I'm gonna have an interesting way to secure this using 5 8 rod That'll probably be in the next video. It'll be three pieces of rod one going across here Another one across the back so they can't be lifted up. And another one across the back. Keep those doors shut. So when we're at the campground or staying overnight in a hotel or whatever, it'll keep honest people honest at least, hopefully. Um, and that pressure treated plywood, it's three quarter inch. Oh my god, is that stuff heavy. That's why I had to cut it in half and stuff. It was just too much to lift up and down. So, it's two halves, hold open arms and all. And that's about it for now. Be another video following, probably when I get it all painted up. That's all. Thank you.